Hello my friends, this is Victor, your flight attendant. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you've never been here before, well, welcome aboard. I'm a flight attendant every week. I share with you some tips on how to travel in better conditions. I'm going to tell you a few stories that happen from passengers, stories or comments that uh, sometimes you feel like some people may leave their brain at security when they go uh, aboard a plane because it's really weird. We never say that in normal time. So uh, if you're new to my channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button, which is right here. And uh, otherwise, welcome aboard. Over the last few weeks, I've been helping my friends who work in customer relations, so mostly people who are uh, emailing us and then from complaints or compliments, usually they don't send compliments so often, but uh, telling us uh, what went wrong with their journey and uh, we'll investigate and then we'll see what happened and, and get back to them. And I received two really, really strange emails. The first one is around uh, the safety card. If you've never been on a plane, you will find in your seat pocket um, uh, a laminated card. We've got all these safety instructions. So how to put an oxygen mask, where is your life jacket, or put it on, uh, if that your seatbelt needs to be fastened for takeoff, landing, turbulence, etc. Just basic, basic stuff. On ours, uh, we also have a flight attendant, which is uh, just posing, and it's a drawing. It's most of the time for many airlines, it's just a drawing, it's not a real person. Um, so ours look like that, it's not this one exactly because I'm not saying which airline I work on but it's quite similar. So we got someone complaining that his drawing of flight attendant, again it's a drawing, uh, is too skinny and promotes anorexia. Really, it is a drawing and it's quite general and we don't talk about food at any time so I completely appreciate that anorexia is a big issue and impact the life of many people but um, <clears throat> it is a drawing. Would you he, would you complain to Disneyland because Mickey Mouse got big ears and people who've got big ears feel like bad around that? Um, no. Well, it's the same thing. Uh, I'm, I'm really sorry for people who got anorexia, but it's just a drawing of a flight attendant. If she would be too big, people would be complaining too. So sometimes I think people have nothing else to do in their 24 hours of their day. Second story, and I keep a smile. Um, so also in your seat pocket, next to the uh, safety card, you'll find a, a sick bag. So in case you get motion sickness, air sickness, or you're just sick, uh, well, you've got a small bag where you actually can vomit in it. It's nothing glamorous, but it's there. Uh, and every seat pocket, you should find one. Once you're done with it, you just fold the top, and then you can put it in the toilet bin. Uh, or if you want a flight attendant, just let us know, and it'll put some gloves because we can't touch it because we also touch food that we're gonna to serve to people, food and drinks. But anyway, so we've got those sick bags and uh, they're quite convenient because if you're feeling sick, sometimes you're stuck to your seat, your seat the seat belt sign is on, or uh, the toilets might be busy. Anyway, that's the reason why it's for. So someone email us and ask if it's recyclable. So yes, I, I, I'm very happy that people have concern about how much recycling we can do on board and we go with local laws uh, where we land, if something can be recyclable or not. Uh, we are aware we use a lot of plastic because a plastic cutlery is much lighter than a metal cutlery so there's a, a saving done in fuel but on the other hand there's more uh, plastic so we try to recycle it. Anyway, that's a different subject but uh, the sick bag. Why would you like to recycle a seat bag? Honestly, so I needed to provide a written answer to this passenger and I need to make sure that it's quite uh, polite but also straight to the point because I, it's a written answer, it can end up uh, on social media or anything. So I just explained this passenger that whilst I appreciate his concern about recycling, uh, unfortunately those sick bags are not recyclable. Inside is a plastic coating to make sure the bag will be actually seal proofed and then we don't want this bag to leak, especially with what's inside. Uh, and then I appreciate his comment and pass it on to um, the, uh, the teams that actually designed those kind of bags. But like, come on, if you go to a hospital, I know hospital try to recycle too, but those patch with blood, like when you have a drip, do you, do you think they're recyclable? I don't think it's, it's biohazard. It needs to be completely destroyed. And I might be wrong, but I don't think they recycle this kind of stuff. So anything that's got human fluids on it, usually you don't recycle them. You try to destroy them to make sure there's no contamination. Anyway, that was second story. Third story. So we are on the flight. We're flying from Singapore back home. It's actually a day flight. It's quite a long flight. It was a second meal service. So it was a dinner and I was serving and we had a choice of a chicken curry or uh, the beef casserole. Good evening, what would you like for dinner tonight? I can offer you the uh, chicken curry or the beef casserole. I'll have the chicken curry please. Chicken curry, certainly. 
Uh, but one question is, is the chicken curry made by Indian people? So at this stage, um, I think I misunderstood. Oh, the chicken curry is an Indian recipe to begin with. Uh, so while its origin is Indian, it's probably been changed so the flavor will suit more passengers on board, but... No, no, not the recipe. The actual curry is made by Indian people. Because if it's the case, I'm not eating it. I don't know what to say because she's actually says she doesn't eat anything that's made by someone who is Indian. So um, I have to be very careful because whatever I say is going to get back to me. So here's my answer. Well, uh, while I can't guarantee this kind of thing because uh, I don't know who's working in a catering company, but um, there's a few people that are involved in making a meal. There's someone's going to make the rice, someone's going to make the chicken, someone's going to make the sauce, someone's going to assemble the pieces together. So uh, I can't guarantee that. Uh, I can instead offer you the beef casserole, uh, even though I can't guarantee it's not an Indian recipe. So maybe less changes that Indian people have been involved in the process. Would you like this one instead? I was horrified. So what I did is I didn't say anything, give her a, a beef and then um, just move away. I told the rest of the crew and we didn't do anything for the rest of the flight. But I was feeling really, really bad because how can someone be so racist and, and say it out loud knowing that a lot of Indian passengers were around her because we had a plane coming from Singapore. So there was a lot of people coming from India to Singapore to go to the rest of the world. So what I did is uh, I had my small revenge. As you know, uh, before takeoff, we send a safety video to the screens and then everybody have to watch it you can't uh, pause you can't stop it you'll have to play uh, we can also do that to a specific seat or a, or a whole section of the plane if you want and we can send pretty much any media that's inside the uh, in-flight library so for this lady 10 minutes before landing when the seat belt sign comes on and we got a PA from the captain asking the flight attendant to be seated I send this lovely lady a Bollywood movie I say, you don't like Indian people, you're gonna dance with them and share their love. So for the last 10 minutes, she had to watch it. She had no other option, she could press. We saw her pressing everywhere on the screen, it wouldn't stop, and even she used a call bell, we can't come because we need to be seated, we're about to land. Um, so yeah, it's against our any procedure, like it's not something that the airline asked us to say, but I was so shocked that she said that. I said, well, woman, you're gonna pay for that because I hope that you're gonna learn to respect other races and other people. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please put a thumb up and I'll do more of those. Uh, if you've never watched my videos before, there's about 100 then something uh, and 115 libraries, so there's other stuff to watch. Uh, if you like it, please hit the subscribe button by pressing clicking right here and then otherwise I'll see you next week. Bye!